I'm V. I'm V.
A little anesthesia. Everything chill, mano? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. I'm serious this time. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help. Ah, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. You ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. You're saving my life, V. He just lacks Truly. direction. Demons walk with him. They tear at his soul. But I'll tell him your story. Hey! What's the mess? Still unpacking, man. Let me check it exactly. Give me a few bottles of scent on short last time. No, no, that ain't possible. <laughs> Hey, Kirk. Wanna talk? V. Been a while? Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shy to hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. How's your problem? Cut him some slack, will you? You'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Huh, <laughs> you know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. Know what, Kirk? I sometimes get the impression you forget you aren't from around here. Pop in Haywood for the occasional visit, sure. But you live far, far away in Pacifica. What are you getting at? Getting at? You're probably needing to think before you start something with the local sun. Hmm. I'm open to other options. Mm-hmm. Dream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client. Just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared. Of course! I'm a man of my word, you know that. Whole thing's simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. As soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. 
And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item, and I know where to find it. Plan sounds shaky as fuck. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. And your man, Rick? Trust him like my own brother. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. Easy, V. Job's gonna pad your wallet, too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. <sighs> I was at the hospital. Cabby's got some broken ribs. Bullshit! Cabron is best in his way. So how's it gonna be? Okay, don't say. Yeah, go. Standing, understand? I'm not fucking owe me big. V, you're saving my life. I mean that. Motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons? No goddamn limes? They're in there, for sure. Spare a veteran some change. Here, all yours. Knew I saw good in you. God bless. When the cybernetic god comes to the valley, to show the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We. Long time. Didn't know you were around. Sebastian Ibarra. Haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Ember's. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? Eh, I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... 
Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty... One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you. Which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number. Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Status. On location. I'm about to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, so you said. Something I can help you with. Kirk sent me. Mm-hmm. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Do your thing.
Kirk. I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. Get the okay. fuck out. Easy. Nothing personal, compa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of Thieves' Honor. Finders Keepers. I was first. Listen. Only one or two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? You got us? Under arrest. Stay where you are. Hands where I can see them. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now. <sighs> Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce twice. Hey, <sighs> Detective Stance. Been a while, huh? Inspector. Yeah. Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Come on, yeah. spit it out. I'm waiting. Using to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got your tongue? You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up? I just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell. Standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck Ordinary dear. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't flow. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Motherfucker. <laughs> Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. And same. Stints is out to get people. Wound tight. Though he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained. Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. 
Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Just like that? You put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. You're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. Sets a kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gongs will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one! And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the bouquet, kids! Or so they say, but you can only be a major league player for so long! The faster you live, the faster you burn out! to the brain first! You AC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! Matters not where you're from! Matters not where you start! What matters here is the walk you walk! In Night City, the city of dreams. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Oh, 
Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. V, Nina, eyes up. The nails are hid. Quiet, V. our target. Look around. We've gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ.
think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. <sighs> this does not look good. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Traumatine Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, somewhere we can dig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neuroport. Find the shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Engage, vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. to control. Patient NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Only we'll if you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. 
the district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Stop digging Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, man, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, fucking knew it. Man on our ass, tailing us. Chingado. I don't like this beat. No more tight fit. Stop! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on! Can't keep her steady! Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Got you, asshole! V! Chingado! <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home.
Damn. They're pulling out all the stops. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Cause only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's that treating you, beautiful? Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now. I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today, Arasaka Corpse Relic. But maybe. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. You can have a word for super. Oh, yeah.
what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It's a natural light. Caught something when I jagged into that corpo's bile mine. Don't know, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. or two. What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. 
So how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or Watson. Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot. Every night, don't be soft. Upgrade now. Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exclusive multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Pilar Virtuoso and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, nice city. After break, cyber, cyber, Stay hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. 
Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, his whole deal? He's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? No, really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf. Local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date, me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Dire. 
but you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or oh. rather, not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted oh, yeah? the temptation to make through them? Get those kind of things. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look <laughs> Malone drops his guard. Now you can see the fatigue on him. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. 
talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. First time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Watch out for negative energy fields. And of I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up.
How's biz, Misty? Boomin? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear.
Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of energy. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you.
One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Clem to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> she gone. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. 
Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk! Meredith? Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen close. This piece Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say?
Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Okay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cuss already good as dead! But she'll take you down with her! Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. Maybe something there. Maybe not. No. And a good nose for shady shit, me. You know that. And I say, get those corpos sidelined. Waiting for you at all points, you know? Not getting any younger. squared away. Sadek's already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, K-1 
Can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Get it, Jack. It'd be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast Den? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <sighs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. <laughs> Called him special. What just mean us, Holmes? Shit. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. Got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Toto. Now couch. Sit down. 
This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. Thanks. I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT0-D12. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your credit. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Ask Fuck you a brick. question. Let's cut a new deal. Now that's good business sense. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. I'm talking to you! You fucking deaf! Seems you already got the eddies for it. You ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, he never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Man, he ain't dead. No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? And controller. And let's go. The the better. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Well, 
they failed is neat. Ugh, I could taste it. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really no other way.
Expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm hmm. Me too. Heard one of the flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Gunnar. Holy shit, V. I was sure we'd walk out in one piece. 
Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Hay luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the military? Eh? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> that meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. in the area. Criminal activity reported in Watson. Roger. Probably some cyber psycho gang, but I'll handle it. Say, any update on my overtime bonus? Uh, dispatch? I 
can't thank you enough. To a ripper man. I. Oh! I'll pay you! Alright. Great! Why are we standing here? <laughs> to the car! Now! Yes, Mr. Stud XCV-19 series. Yeah, how'd you know? I know my implants, including the black market stuff. Vaulted series, got recall. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey, listen. Thanks 
for not laughing at me. Appreciate it. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. Fuck you. <sighs> just our luck. Ah! Go, just go, mow him down! Chill, Chum. Be gone in a sec. Chill? You tell me to chill! It burns! Fuck, it burns! Chill. Doing what I can. What I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. Lost it. Uh, stand still. You better go around. Jesus fucking Christ! You really gotta keep yelling like that. You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Chum. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Real fucking funny.
on. It is not mine. None of this means. What happened? Cold Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done. It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you. Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? How about your brother? He's still with him? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how... how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. I'd like to see what you can do for me. Plenty, I'm sure. Please, I need to be alone. I'd like to buy some iron. So buy some.
What if instead of a goal? We kept him with iron. Every time he'd have to take a piss, he'd... <laughs> Do not do this! Invitations against my beliefs. Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? I was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Nah. The truth, your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. Hmm. I liked your brother more. What was I supposed to do? Read him a sermon? Maelstrom shoots first, then asks questions. 
You always have a choice, including not to act at all. That is the most difficult of the paths. I would prefer to lose the only body that I have than to live with the thought that somebody died on my account. Leave me. I must catch my breath before I go to my brother. It is him who needs saving now. Find my brother? Of course I found him. He's safe and sound. Just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I... I should not give in to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed. Smoking crotch? That's one way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Thanks. Oh no, thank you! If it weren't for you, I'd. We gotta go. Where were we? Oh no, thank you! If it 
No problem. Go get him, Tiger. Make trouble. Be trouble. But there's smoke. This one.
Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Well? Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl Nothing's wrong. Really. Why don't you just tell me the truth? A little vanilla. I just told you. Or kinkier. Wax. Maybe a little. V? Here's me. You and your girlfriend wearing high heels, blindfolds, and big games. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. 
We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do Daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, they can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. What are you doing? You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. 
and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hey, we weren't finished. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Got to create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample it to get to know the editor. Now let me see, where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Shouldn't be perfect. Boot it up. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings, then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Muddy, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, hey, now. Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! 
slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Felt I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback, can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. I, Rewind. Roll I, it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing up. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, get up, get up. Side, go breaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And I'm everything on full blast. That's why I expect the wicked and then high. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Go restock. I'll take the register. register. And a couple How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Surf and Everybody! of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Make sense? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. 
Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah, hey, now! Sorry, no. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? To no way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kanpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kanpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. Alright, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my requests... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where you're in. No, who's keeping the relic? You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Uh, 
Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I mean it. We shall see soon enough. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not write them. In a Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Boom, we read it up. Wow, wow, champagne's decent. The taste boosted somehow. Nope, just the price. The same bubbly you'll be sipping in real space soon. I need see social. Alarm firmware's fresh, but. Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. I said, this is not. I said, no. Face, we cannot take it to market as is. You 
spielen muss, wie los? Must provide them. Enough. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Got any candy left? Step was pretty. Conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Say, I'll fuck it with you. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. We read it up. Not say more than the old man. Say it's like a thing. I'm not going to get it. Hey, Oh, 
Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm, we got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, once... let's walk. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. V? Well, what do you think? If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Looking, Mr. V. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V.